hello and welcome <coughs> in this video I will demonstrate the use of uh, Google Sheets to record the class attendance. I will use an already prepared template uh, like uh, the one I have here. So in this template uh, we will have uh, 13 weeks, week 1 up to 13, then we'll have the last column will be the percentage attendance for each student. That we'll have the column here, the registration number, the student will write the registration number, then the name, then uh, on this section here, they'll be recording whether they are present, and if they are not present, then the lecturer records the, the student as absent. So to access this template, I have provided the, the link. So you can simply click on this link. Or alternatively, you can copy the link. You copy. And then paste into your browser. You paste into your browser. And press enter. Uh, the template should open. So when you open this template, uh, you find that uh, this template is locked for editing. So if you try to edit a certain cell, you try to double click to tell you that there was a problem, that you are trying to edit a protected cell or object. So it is not possible to edit in this section of uh, this template. So except to have the section for the names and the registration number that one is not locked but any other any other section is locked including the section below down here so what you are going to do you are not going to edit this one because this one is not possible to edit uh, you are going to go to file and make a copy of this then you will get the rights to edit so when you click on the file, you should see make a copy. But notice that uh, this one is not active. So I cannot click on this. The reason why it is not active is because I have not signed in. So for you to edit or to make a copy, you need to sign in to a Google account. So come to the right top right corner where there is sign in. Click on sign in and uh, sign in with a Google account. You can use a Gmail or even the institutional email, provided this, that uh, you're using a Google account, it should, uh, you should be able to access uh, those options. So I'm going to sign in with my account. So once I sign in, then the sheet will open again. Again, if I try to edit, uh, you see that it is not possible to edit again, even after signing in. So I cannot edit this template. So what I'll do is that you should come to the file and uh, click on make a copy. So now you have, you choose the name here, so you can retain the name, but uh, remove, maybe remove the copy, and then you put the code of the units that you are teaching. So I'll write A M M A M M one zero eight. Let's use up to here. A M M one zero eight. Then there is a one in here that uh, some scripts and functionalities will also be copied. So don't review that section. Let it remain the way it is. So once, once you type the name of uh, the sheet here, just click on make a copy down here. 
and you get uh, another sheet now. Another class attendance now. For this one, this one is not, this one is now possible for you to edit. When you click on uh, any cell, you should be able to edit. You can type here anything you want. You can type in a section of this, of this one, even down here. Now, uh, so when, what you can do is that you can type now the, you, the name of the code, the code, the unit code, sorry, EMM108. Then where there is the unit name, you can type the name of the unit that you are teaching. So I'll type mathematics. Uh, then you can type the degree program, uh, the year and the semester, the year of study and the semester. Then up here you can have, you can modify this to include or to, to the department that you are in. So the students will be recording their registration number on this column and the name on the second column. Then in this section here, the student will write, will indicate whether present by typing P, by typing P, just P. You let let them type P, not anything else, so that uh, when the, somebody types P, then this one can record the percentage attendance in the last column. So uh, down here, there is the number of students who attended the class. The numbers should be recorded here for every week. Then the class rep can uh, write his issues here. Same with the course lecturer and the COD. So for us to be able to view this, all the sections of this sheet at once, I will remove some rows for demonstration purposes. So for yours, you may not want to remove. You may even want to add. So, but for me, I'll remove some rows here. So I'll highlight those rows, go to edit, then click on delete rows 1943. So I'll have a sheet where I can view all the sections. This is for demonstration purposes. For you, you can even add, if you want to add the rows, you can select a number of rows come to insert menu then point to rows and select insert rows above then the rows will be inserted but me i don't want to add the rows i want to have few rows for the purposes of the demonstration now this sheet is protected and if you want to view the protected sections you click on data and go to protect sheets and ledges. Then you should be able to see on the right here the sections which are uh, protected. There is the cross attendance, COD, and store class rep section, non editable region, and then the open class attendance, there's the student details. So the student details are, are the, the registration number and the name. So these are the two columns, column B and column C. Then if I click on the close attendance, or rather if I click on the open attendance, you see some section is being highlighted here. This is the region which is locked by that, uh, by, 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 by this ledge. If I click on the COD stroke class rep section, you have this region down here, which is being highlighted, which is the one which is protected by that ledge. So the COD should be able to edit here 
the class app should also be able to edit like the names, the rather not the name, but maybe the initials and so on. So how to do that is included in the documentation. So now in this one, I want to demonstrate how to open the class, how to open the attendance and how to close it for the student. So let me use this one to 75% or maybe I may, can use 80%. So uh, once you have your sheet like this, you may want to get the link, the shareable link that you share with the student. So go to share, the top right here, click on share. And then where you have the general access, you see the sheet is restricted. And it says that only people with access can open the link. So click on this button here and change that to anyone with the link. Once it updates, now it says anyone on the internet with the link can view. But this is not what you want. You want the students to be able to edit. You want them to be able to type, to, to record their attendance. So you change this one from viewer to editor. So click on it and select editor. Now the sheet is ready to be shared. So you click on copy link here, copy link. So now the link is copied and you click that. The link that you have copied can now be shared with the students either through WhatsApp group, or you can put the, put the link in Masomo portal so that the students can be able to access it from there. But you may not want the students to be accessing any, that link and editing the attendance any time they want. You want it to be accessible, although the link can still be accessible, but you want the students to be able to type, to record the to record their attendance only when the class is ongoing, not any other time. So, if I click on, uh, if I now go to my browser and paste the link that I have copied and uh, press enter, assuming now you have sent to the student, the students will go to his browser and uh, paste the link or even click on the link, the link will open and the students will be able to see the attendance. <clears throat> the students will be able to see the attendance like we have here. So what will happen is that, uh, for example, during the first week, you have sent the link to the student so the student will write the name, the registration number here. And then the name. A second student will write the registration number. And the name again. Uh, but uh, the student will not be able to record uh, that they are present in the first week. When the students try to click on uh, this section to enter to record their attendance, it will indicate that uh, they cannot edit that section. The second student will also try to do that, but it will not be possible. So, although the students can still write their name well before the lesson starts, 
if you had sent the attendance, you will not be able to record uh, the attendance here. They, attend they will not be able to register their attendance. So what will happen is that uh, during the lesson, you start teaching, maybe you teach for one hour or one and a half, give them a break, maybe of five minutes or 10, and you tell them during this time, you record their attendance. So once you give them that break to record their attendance, you will also come to the sheet and now you want to open the attendance for the student to record. So you'll click on open the attendance. And you see that uh, this region here is uh, locked for editing. The highlighted section here is locked for editing. Because you want to open column E. And you if you look at the range here, the range which is uh, closed for editing, it starts from the column E, E9, column E. Because you want to open column E, you change this from E to F so that uh, the column E is not locked. So you change here from E and you type F, then click done. If you look at uh, this now, this now uh, locks the column F to column Q. E is not locked. So when the student now comes to class and uh, you have told them to record their attendance, they will now be able to record their attendance for that week. Assuming that those two students were the ones who were present that week, then they will record present, present. The attendance will count the number of students here. There were two for that week. Then the percentage attendance, the first student 7.69%, the second 7.69%, that is uh, one out of 13. After that session for marking the attendance is over, you go back here to your sheet and uh, click on uh, now close the attendance. You want to close that cell from editing. So you click on close, and this one now, you want to close E. Close, the close attendance range is D10 to D18. Because you want to include E, now you'll come where there is D18, and remove D, and type E. And you click done. So that now this section is locked for editing. So if another student comes later, if another student comes later here and lies his registration number, he is 261, for example, 0006 stroke 2019, and then the name as uh, Patrick Bashira, for example. and tries to record that he is present, then the sheet will not accept that. But uh, you yourself can be able to record that uh, this student was absent. So you can come here and type absent. So you yourself can type absent and uh, the percentage attendance will still be zero here. The number of students present is still two, because this one is absent, so you will record that. So that trick we assume is over. Then the next week, again, you do the same. The student, uh, you start the lesson, teach, maybe for about one hour or maybe 30 minutes or maybe one and a half hours depending on how, when you decide to tell them to record their attendance. So give them a break of five minutes and you tell them to mark their attendance during that time. When you do that, uh, then you come to open the attendance. Now you want to open column F so that the students can record. 
So this one will change this from F, where there is the, the range here. You change that from F to G, so that you open F and click on that. So when you do that, then the student will be able to record. If this student is present, he will record P. The next one, assuming is present, he will record P. And now, assuming the that student is also present, he will record P. You see that now, in this week, there are three students. The first week, there were two. The percentage attendance here for the first student is 15.38. The second student is 15.38. The third student, because he has attended only once, is 7.69%. Now, uh, then, after the session for marking the attendance is over, you'll come back to your sheet and click on Close the Attendance. Once you click on that, you want to close the column F, so you come where there is E and remove, delete E and type F. So you click done, that row, that column is now closed for editing. So a student will come later and try to uh, record the attendance as present for these two weeks now, will not be able to do that. So a student comes later, tries to modify to change here, it is not possible to record the first one. It is not possible to record the second week. So he will, the students will have to wait until the third week when you open the third week for him or her to record the attendance. Then you yourself will be able to type absent for this student. When the student has indicated his name, you can type absent in the first week, absent in the second week. Then in the third week, when you open the attendance, the students can be able to record uh, the uh, uh, attendance there. So every week you can be doing that. You First you open. Once the student records the attendance, you close that section. You open first. You let them record, then close. So now every time the student has recorded present, the percentage attendance will update and the number of students present will also update here. So basically that is how you record uh, the attendance. Now, another thing which is important to note here is that uh, a student coming on the fourth week or on the third week and realizing that uh, if a, a student may come after the, the, third, the second week, for example, <coughs> say you have AS261 stroke 0007 stroke 2018, uh, Joseph. Wampua, uh, for example, a student may realize that uh, he is not able to record the attendance on the first week, he is not able to record the, first, the attendance on the second week, and therefore realize that probably now he has a problem uh, because the, it will be observed that he never attended the classes. So he can come here. I note that uh, the first student or the second student uh, was present the first week and present the second week and therefore decide to change this registration number to his and the name. And then the students is now <coughs> seen to be present during the first and the second week. Then the student who was there is now replaced. So you may not want this to happen. That a student may come later and remove the name of one of the students and change to his. 
So you may not want to, that to happen. So we have put a control for that. So what we'll do after the students have written their names, maybe like we have the first five here, you come to your sheet, go to the section where you, ha you have a student details so that you lock the names and registration numbers of those who have already written there. This one, the range for this is B9 to C9. It basically locks the B, column B and column C. Uh, column row 9 is hidden here. We are not interested in that much. So we want to change, we want to lock from B9 all the way to C14 so that we leave the section below here so that any other student coming later can still be able to write the name. So I'm going to change from C9 to C14, which is this row. So I change to C, where there is C9, I'll write 14 and click on done. So in this case, now I have locked uh, the section with the names. So a student coming to try and uh, edit this one of the registration numbers or the name to his will not be able to do that. Any student coming later can only write their name down here. They can only write their name down here. Can only write their registration number down there and the name, but they cannot edit. They cannot list the name of one of the students who was there in the previous weeks. So that controls that that control is very important because a student can remove the name of another student, which is not a good thing. That one should not be allowed. The last thing I want I would want to say here is uh, about uh, uh, making copies. Normally, what happens is that uh, a student may come after the lesson and make a copy of this attendance. A student can right click here on the where there is the sheet name and click on duplicate. This will create a copy of the attendance. Now, this copy of the attendance that is created has no controls. The students can be able to edit anywhere. So you can come and record the name here. Uh, you can come and record the name and now start writing present, present, present anywhere. So even later after the lesson. So we may not want this to happen. And uh, some students will want to confuse this attendance by creating very many copies. Sometimes you may open and find that some students have created very many copies of this. They have duplicated this many times and then even moved the, the sheet that you had. This one was the first one here. They can decide to move it to another section so that probably even when you open, you are not, you find it difficult accessing that because it has been moved very far. Now, this is one thing that you may not want to happen because uh, students can come later claiming that uh, they were there in the class, but they were confused. They did not know which one was the correct uh, sheet. So what you do is that uh, we have put a control for this, uh, but because it is not possible to lock, to lock uh, this duplication, 
it's not possible to lock Google Sheets from being deprecated. One can always deprecate. So what we ensure is that uh, any student who comes to duplicate the sheet after the lesson, the duplicate will be deleted whenever you open that sheet next time for editing. So once you close your sheet, any students who comes later, let's assume that you have closed your sheet here. I'll, so I'll close this one. I'll close that one. So now a student comes and creates copies of the attendance. And once he creates copies, maybe he adds his name and uh, types present, types present, 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 maybe this was the fourth week and we have type present all over. Uh, what will happen is that uh, when you come to the class next time, you closed your sheet you cross your attendance when there was only one sheet. There was no other sheet. So when you come to the attendance next week, on the next lesson, you open the attendance. Uh, the attendance will open. And I want you to look at uh, the section down here where there is the, this sheet. Uh, the sheets should be deleted automatically. The sheets that were not there will be deleted automatically and uh, only the one that you left will remain. So any students who came later to create a sheet and included their name, those ones will be deleted. And the only sheet that will remain is the one that was originally there. So that not, no students can come and record their attendance later in a duplicate copy and then come claiming that they were there, only that they were not able to know which one was the correct uh, sheet. So in this case, those ones we have included a script to delete those sheets every time you open. So ensure that uh, when, you, when the class is over, or when the time for marking the attendance is over, don't leave the sheet open. Ensure that you close the sheet. When the time for marking the attendance is over, just close the sheet. So that anybody who comes to duplicate later after you have closed, those sheets that they have duplicated will be deleted and you will remain with only the sheet that you only the original sheet that you created and you marked and was marked during the time that you had uh, allowed them to, to mark so that nobody comes later to mark the sheet, to mark themselves present in a duplicate sheet. So basically, these are the controls that we have put. And uh, basically, that's how we... Uh, record uh, those sheets. Now, uh, uh, what you'll do is that uh, you should you should allow the class rep and uh, the COD to record the details, their details here by adding their names, uh, their emails on this section, add people or group. But we will provide a documentation on how that one can be done. Uh, the documentation, this documentation will give details of what you need to do. So you can go through the do documentation together with the video. Uh, thank you for listening.